there's a small town located in the York region. Although the population is no more than 15,000, it has been recognized as a market with great potential in real estate. I think I have read something online said um, between the year 2006 and 2011, the population of the Stouffville town have been doubled. Yes. So there must be a lot of like good things about the town, right? So it's a lot of amazing things. I mean, um, Stouffville, it has, it's not only small town feel, mm -hmm. Um, it still has like a historic main street. There's a historic house area where there's a lot of historic homes that are over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of an interesting because you, you can you can see where, you know, some of the original homes, some of the original stores where they were separated off from farms. Mm -hmm. uh, Market is doing quite well, like, like other towns in York Region. Um, from 2015 to 2016, we saw uh, roughly across all home types about an 18% increase in Stouffville. Mm -hmm. Now, 2016 to 2017, were across all home types are at about 30 percent. You are now listening to the Canada Housing 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 h o u s 地产行业权威发布，众多专家分析点评，尽在置业家国。Hi, welcome to Real Estate Canada. There's a small town located in the York Region. Although the population is no more than 15,000, it has been recognized as a market with great potential in real estate. In today's Wonder TO, our new friend Darren is going to introduce the town of Stouffville. Hello, Darren. Hi, Hi Jackie. Yeah, thanks uh, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate being here. Yeah, it's your first time on our show. So yes. why don't you give us a brief introduction about yourself to our audience first? Of course, yeah. yeah. My name is Darren Plum. I am a licensed real estate agent. Um, I focus on the areas of Stouffville, Aurora, Newmarket, um, mainly focus on Stouffville. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in the business in total in real estate. I've been in the business 10 years. Um, I did four in mortgages and then transitioned about six years ago uh, into real estate. So you're well known both the financial and the real estate. Well, I, I mean, I definitely know the financial side. I used to deal with, um, with um, high risk lending more than, than traditional mortgages, but I did, uh, I did sort of leave that hat behind when I took on uh, real estate to do it full time. That's good to know. Yeah. Um, well, today we're going to talk about the city of Stouffville. Yeah. And we know that Stouffville is the primary urban area of the town, Whitechurch, mm -hmm. Stouffville. So yes. why don't you give us a like, brief introduction about how the city looks like? Um, Stouffville is still very small town feel. Mm -hmm. It's 46,000 people population roughly. Mm -hmm. um, by, uh, I, I believe census is uh, indicating it's going to be about 66,000 um, in, in about a 10 year time. Mm -hmm. um, there has been a ton of growth there in real estate. Um, as far as new building, and there's always seems to be projects on the go. Mm -hmm. um, it is extremely small town feel. Um, there's maybe not the amenities there that you would see in um, Newmarket or Aurora, of course, Markham, mm -hmm. um, but it adds to the charm of the town. And, and I think that most people that go there, um, that live there, visit there, that's part of why they go, because yeah. it has that country close to the city. Yeah, for some of the people, they live at, at um, downtown Toronto or Mississauga, they feel like Stouffville is quite far, right? But actually, it's only like 50 kilometers yes. from the downtown Toronto, right? Yeah, and from, you know, Markham, even Markham, I mean, we're 10 kilometers away. Right? Yeah. We're very, very close. Um, we're, cl you know, we're 10 kilometers from Highway 404. We're 10 kilometers from Highway 407. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have quick access to go anywhere. There's a GO train stop. Um, so, I mean, it's very easy access to no matter where you want to go. Mm -hmm. I think I have read something online said um, between the year 2006 and 2011, the population of the Stouffville town have been doubled. Yes. So there must be a lot of like good things about the town, right? So it's a lot of amazing things. I mean, um, Stouffville, it has, it's not only small town feel, mm -hmm. Um, it still has like a historic main street. There's a historic house area where there's a lot of historic homes that are over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of an interesting because you, you, can, you can see where, you know, some of the original homes, some of the original stores where they were separated off from farms. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can almost walk down Main Street and imagine, you know, the, 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 
the town with you know dirt or cobblestone <laughs> roads back from a hundred years ago, yeah. right? Um, but you know, every year there's you know strawberry festival, rib fest. I mean, things like that that really bring the community together, really keep it tight. If you know that, for a lot of Chinese, they move to Canada or they move to Ontario because of the education is here. The reputation yes. is quite good. Yep. So, how is the school system at um, Stoville? Um, you know, my personal opinion on that is you can't complain about any of the schools in York Region. Yeah. York Region has absolutely the best schools for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and from that, I mean, Stouffville is largely comprised. We do have private schools, we do have Catholic schools, we do have French immersion. Mm -hmm. um, we have, and, and here's kind of the, the way we have one high school and there's eight or nine different uh, elementary schools, right. at, at, be it Catholic or French immersion um, or public. And so it's really, the, the push in Stouffville is really about that, is really about you know, young families, new families, um, and, and there's really something there for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually another new school being built that'll be open in September. I don't recall the name off the top of my head, um, but school system rated extremely high. Okay, so next we're gonna get into the real estate market. Yeah. So people wanna know, how's the market doing in the past two years at Stouffville? Uh, market is doing quite well, like like other towns in York Region. Um, from 2015 to 2016, we saw uh, roughly across all home types about an 18% increase in Stouffville. Mm -hmm. Now, 2016 to 2017, we're across all home types are at about 30%. So that puts the average price of a detached in Stouffville right now at a million three ninety one. Uh, Semi-detached homes average sale price currently is eight twenty-seven, and seven twenty-seven is the average sale price on townhomes currently. Mm, that's a really good numbers yeah. for Stouffville. How is it compared to other cities, say like Aurora or um, New Market? Well, Aurora New Market are also um, uh, spots that I deal in as well, and th the numbers are fairly consistent actually. Uh, uh, Stouffville is is almost identical to Aurora as far as what average sale price is. Um, Aurora is probably even a little bit peakier on appreciation levels. Mm -hmm. um, but what we are seeing that's interesting right now in um, New Market and Aurora is we are actually seeing, uh, if you look at the graphs on the Toronto Real Estate Board, we are actually starting to see a bit of a, a, bit of a price correction. So, mm -hmm. it's, so it's as if, it, you know, it's the detached homes, for instance, are, are hitting a bit of a ceiling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, the markets, be it stock market, real estate market, they correct down and they'll correct and they'll go back up. That's right. But, but at this point, we are seeing a bit of a, uh, a bit of downward pressure on the price of detached homes in New Market Aurora, but not in Stouffville. Um, we are seeing the detached homes kick a little bit off on a 45 degree angle, um, but there's still tr the overall trend is up. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. have an opinion on why does like the town of Stouffville goes like the market goes so so fast? Um, it, really because it is the, the town just above Markham, um, <laughs> so it's an easy commute. Mm -hmm. um, for many, many years, the, uh, the real estate market in, in Stouffville has been, there's been enough difference that someone can sell their home in Markham and do very well to buy a home in Stouffville. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I would say, you know, at this point, we're, we're not seeing, you know, nearly any sort of equalization, mm -hmm. but it but it does make a logical step for many people. And of course, Markham has continued to grow over the last, you know, 20, 30 years. Stouffville is just sort of beginning that growth. We're just starting to, we, we have no big box stores. We're just starting to see, I believe, our, our third grocery store at this point being mm -hmm. built. Um, you know, and so there is, more amenities coming, but they're not there. So that so the entry, the cost of entry is still still very very affordable. So it's for like many. a snowball, like, yes. right? Yeah. Like, do you have a example like area that you will prefer to introduce to your client at Stouffville? Um, of course, that really depends on uh, on price point, and, right. you know, and 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 identifying what the needs and wants mm -hmm. and the must-haves are of that particular buyer. Um, well, does all of the areas has like a, the, the, the average price is the same or they have like area, particular area has uh, like more higher price or the other like have Well, if, if you're looking for instance on the, um, if you're looking say to the south of Main Street, okay. there is a, a lot of new building that's gone there in the last 15 years. And so mm -hmm. if you sweep from uh, from west to east, mm -hmm. the farther east you get, the newer the building is. So a lot of that depends too um, on the age of house you want. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, I would say predominantly uh, the farther west you go in that pocket in Stouffville, mm -hmm. um, it's called Weller's Mill, 
uh, there is a predominantly a white population in there. And as you go further into uh, the middle, say between ninth line and uh, tenth line, there is a bit of a mix. We start to see um, not, just, not just white, we see uh, Chinese, we are seeing Tamil, mm. and then of course, you know, when you go past east of tenth um, to the very far end of Stouffville, we are seeing a lot more Tamil in that po in that pocket, mm -hmm. um, but also sprinkled with a few few Chinese and the odd the odd white. So so the demographic changes as you sweep across Stouffville. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look in the um, um, north of Main Street in Stouffville, there are a lot of uh, older properties in there, mm -hmm. which Stouffville does have a massive component of original owners, people that have been there for thirty years, forty years, some people even more. Mm -hmm. um, my own personal neighbor has been in his house forty-seven years. Wow. Um, so I mean, there is a there is a, a big population of original owners which are starting to sell and, and move on for various reasons. Mm -hmm. But on that north side of Maine, um, you, you you are seeing predominantly uh, white white people in that pocket. So definitely depends on what you're after. Mm -hmm. um, bigger lot or you don't mind a smaller lot with, uh, you know, with a little bit newer house. It just, there's something there for everyone. So thank you so much, Darren, for coming today. You Thank you so yeah. much for having me in. Thank you.